Are there too many problems in your life? You know, if you're in Vietnam and want to know about business, actually, if you're anywhere and want to know about business, you might want to check out Tom Peng. He uh, he doesn't fuck around. Yeah, Tom Peng. He's a okay. Peace. So today, in our Buddha storytelling time, I'm gonna tell you about a man who traveled to see the Buddha because he had a lot of problems, and he decided that. Buddha is a wise man. He was, you know, well known for solving people's problems. His name is let's call him Tom, all right? Because I don't know his name. This man, his name is Tom. He、uh, had a lot of problems, and he decided to seek the wise man's help. So he traveled day and night. To go see the Buddha, and finally he arrived at Buddha's place. And when he saw the Buddha, he was so happy. Tom was so happy. When Tom saw the Buddha, he's like, "Buddha, Buddha, I have so many problems. I know you can help me." So he started. By telling Buddha all of his problems, need a drink. You see, Buddha, you know, I'm a farmer. I'm a simple farmer. I love farming. This is what I do. I'm really good at it. But sometimes, you know, it doesn't rain, and when it doesn't rain, you know, it really, really. Damages my business. I cannot farm when it doesn't rain. It's a problem. But then there are sometimes it rains too much. You know, when it rains too much, you know, it also doesn't help me. Need a drink? Because when it rains too much, you know, my field is not productive. And my yield is not as good, right? And Buddha, you know, I I love my wife, but I have problems with my wife. You know, she just like she's so annoying. She's always angry, and she's never happy, and she's just a fucking bitch. You know, how can I like make her a nicer person? How can I make her like you know? It's a problem. Oh, and by the way, Buddha, you know. What about my kids? You know, they need to show more respect. All right, they need to respect me more. I work so hard. You know, Buddha, I need my children to respect me. How can you make that happen, Mister Buddha? Oh, oh, and by the way, you know, like my cows, my cows. You know, they are getting lazy. You know, they're getting old, and、uh, you know, they're not working as hard. And that's gonna, you know, impact my livelihood, Mr. Buddha. What can you do about that? You know, that's another problem. And so the man went on and on and on about, you know, must have been like eighty-three problems. Need a drink? And then the Buddha said, "I can't help you." Mr. Tom, I cannot help you. And at this point, Mr. Tom was like, "Whoa, you're the wise man. You, 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 you should be able to help me. How can you be the wise man and you can't help me?" And Mr. Buddha said, "Well, maybe I can help you with your eighty-fourth problem." And Mr. Tom said, "What is my eighty-fourth problem? What is that problem?" And Mr. Buddha said, "The eighty-fourth problem is that you want to have no problems. Drink. You see, we are human. We're mortals. Everybody's got problems, right? If you want to have no problems, 
how boring your life would be. You will always have problems in your life. Even as you fix every single problem, let's say you take a problem, you fix it, you spend a lot of time on it, and you fix that problem, another problem would pop up in its place, right? But that is what makes life interesting. And if you want to have a life of no problems, then you're going to be a fucking loser because it is the problems that causes us to grow, that makes us better human beings, that, you know, gives us the chance to show our full potential. Problems are good. Embrace problems. You're always going to have problems. And the more problems you can solve for yourself and also for others will make you more valuable to yourself and to other human beings and that is how you're going to be successful and rich and have a lot of money by being able to solve your problems and other people's problems it's all about problem solving so embrace problems you know don't try to run away from problems and uh, take fucking action and don't be a fucktard